Let me just get this out of the way. No, I'm not over it. People say, why haven't you moved on? I say, well, there are tens of millions of people who haven't moved on because there are still so many unanswered questions. It's easy to say, well, you know, she wasn't a good candidate. Then why did I lead all the way to the end? It's easy to be overwhelmed by all that's going on. I get overwhelmed at least a dozen times a day. I go a little bit batty when I hear you know, him say, gee, this is a really hard job. And his whole campaign, Make America Great Again, was looking backwards. You didn't like black people getting rights. You don't like women, you know, getting jobs. I mean, Trump had a million mistakes. <laughs> that didn't matter. There was this really perfect storm. That election was a perfect storm. It was a perfect storm. It was so painful. There was a lot of sexism and misogyny. There was voter suppression. There was the FBI's intervention. And then there were the Russians. If you're too hot, they accuse you of being angry. We really don't want a woman commander in chief. If you're kind of apologetic, like, please don't do that to me. You're accused of being weak. We don't do well with married white women. Do you think it was a legitimate election? I think that there are lots of questions about its legitimacy. That probably gets lost in the, oh my gosh, she's a capitalist. I, I, when the Comey letter hit, and I don't blame voters, the press bought into it hook, line, and sinker. What does that say? Did you make enough mistakes yourself to lose the election without any of the other things you talk about? Well, I will say no, Matt. You're still blaming others more than yourself. No. You know, I'm trying to stay in a really positive frame of mind. I received um, a number of invitations from Kiwis to permanently relocate here. <laughs> Gave them some thought. <laughs>